No, we'll go to the callers now and we've got a caller from South America. It's called Cree. Are you there? Yes. Yes, yes. I'm here. I put my name down as Cole Cree for Culture Creator. Yeah. Um, I do want to say, number one, it's a pleasure to talk to you, Alan. I've listened to you for a while. I've been in the culture creation business for over 15 years. Yeah. And as an effort to, to help to educate people, I'm not here to be a whistleblower. Uh, I still do have the understanding that the public is the public, and many of them are so far gone, but there's just a few points that I want to bring to the forefront for those who not only uh, are awake to some degree and are still trying to help other people see, but also for those who, uh, you know, have no ammunition. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't, they don't have any type of history being a person maybe who works on the inside of a type of industry, such as the entertainment business, yeah. who, who knows things, you know, that, 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 that happen, and we don't discuss these things. You know, when you're an insider, you don't discuss these things. You just do what you do, and you keep it moving. Mm -hmm. There's something I wanted to bring to the forefront with a number of artists. Uh, you can find a new video on YouTube called Universal Mind Control. The artist's name is Common Sense. This is in the hip-hop genre and Pharrell, both very big artists. And if you look at the video, you will see Pharrell dressed in a robot head. Now, part of what we're, you've been discussing and part of what anyone who's involved in this business already knows, because we do get eye information from certain sources, there is a blending, actually, of... Actually, there's a dehumanization of humans, yeah. and there is a humanization of machines. Yeah, that's Even right. when you look at the Transformers, the movie when it came out, people don't even see the fact that you have this robot talking to you, expressing feelings, mm -hmm. uh, uh, having emotion, and people just sit there like, oh, this is so nice, this is so look at the special effects, and don't even realize they're being predictably programmed. It's, yes. it's, it's such a simple simple thing and and now within the music you have an individual and i'm saying names here because i know what it is and i have no problem in saying this stuff there's a gentleman there by the name of t-pain he uses a voice box called auto-tune and it takes his voice and it moves it to 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 give it some sort of synthesized sound which actually takes a human voice and makes it sound more robotic yeah. Where on the other side, as I said, in the movies, you can see the robots are, being, are becoming more humanized. Mm -hmm. And in the process of this happening, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dialectic that is going to end up in a synthesis. Okay? Oh, no, absolutely. Have... I've got articles here right now, in fact, on that very agenda from the future society, the complete merging with humans and the, robot, the robots until you can't tell which one is which anymore. Which one is which, exactly. Yeah. And they're starting that by visually by pushing it within the music. Um, what age group would you say it's aimed at? Well, I'll tell you now, uh, Alan, 14 yeah. all the way up to your, your 35ers. Um, the, the, the music business is completely fraternal. Okay? Yeah. It's completely fraternal. Mm -hmm. There is no one that has not made it somewhere that is high level, that is not involved in some way, shape, or form in a fraternal order. Now, yeah. that may be tied to Freemasonry or not, and I'm saying this to the public. I'm not saying this to you, Alan, because you probably already know. People, yeah. if you look at Jay-Z, when he throws up what he says is the diamond or the rock symbol, and you see that it is the shape of a triangle, okay, yeah. that is not a diamond symbol. That is to the profane, as they would say, a diamond symbol. But he can get a concert and have 25,000 people throw up this rock signal, and, and you're looking at it thinking, oh, it's just a, 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 a joke. But when he plays at Glastonbury on a stage that is a pyramid, basically, okay, when this gentleman says certain things in his music like, um, I'm so illuminated, I may glow in the dark, and then his understudy, Kanye West turns around and takes, uh, uh, if you also look at photos, there's a photo of him and Jay-Z, and actually if you look at the handshake that he gets, he has the apprentice grip. Mm -hmm. 
that a, a, a mason would give to an apprentice, Jay-Z gave to Kanye because Kanye had not made it yet to uh, the, the, the next levels. Yeah. But in front of the millions of people, he'll do these things and no one sees it. And Kanye comes out with a tour called Glow in the Dark Tour. Now, stated before the verse in one of Jay-Z's songs was, I am so illuminated, I may glow in the dark. And now his understudy comes in with a tour called Glow in the Dark Tour. It is completely esoteric. Yeah. It is completely a play on words that people have no idea. He plays a, a part where he's interacting with the computer in his tour. And I'm talking about people that I know personally. So I'm not saying these things just out of the air. I'm not coming up with this. Yeah. this oh, is, I've met this lots is. of them too. Yeah. Yes. yes. And, yeah, uh, and, and most of them know, do belong to the OTO. They're... Uh, everyone in the business knows that it's, it's almost mandatory to join it uh, and you will be asked to join and they flash their signals all over their album covers all the time yeah. yes yes it's in their signal it's in their covers it's in the music videos look at the backgrounds of many of the music videos there's a video out with Pharrell and Snoop there's a point where there's the bottom part of the Masonic uh, accomplice in square the square is on one side of the screen and the compass is on the other side. And if you know anything about just visual angles, you can see if you put those two together, which once again is the yin and the yang, it's the, the female and the male, it's the, uh, uh, you know, the, the phallus and the, 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 the other female portion. And those two artists being together creates the union. And it is so plain, I can only say, to people who are awake. And for those who are, please not only pay attention to this stuff, but understand that these artists, many of them, are put in positions, okay, where they have no choice. I don't want people to think that all the time that the artist always knows, always knows what he's doing. At times, these people have been, just like highway robbery when a police officer pulls you over, it is, it is you know, it is basically, they're, they're extorted, yeah, okay? Yeah. They're extorted. You know, many artists, they'll come up with a drug charge or a gun charge all of a sudden. As a matter of fact, uh, another guy is, just recently came out with an album called Paper Trail. His name is T.I. And uh, if you listen to a song he did with Justin Timberlake on that album, it is completely... Uh, 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 talking about how the old man has died, okay, and this new man is resurrected. This new man has come out of uh, out of nothing, out of this struggle, out of this pain, which is yeah. a complete representation of a Masonic ritual as you pass on to uh, the Master Mason degree and you have to perform this ritual of, of resurrection, you die, and so on and That's so right. forth. But if you listen to the words... And, and you hear what these people are saying and talking about swallowing their pride, mm -hmm. getting on track. Uh, we're on the same page. And, and the way they talk about time, all of these things go right back to the fact that the entire industry is fraternal. Yep. If you want to be successful, you're either going to play your part or you're not going to be there, period. And, yeah, and, do, and, and they, do what you're told, yeah. And do what you're told. And at the end of the day, if you don't do what you're told, you're going to find uh, you get pulled over with some drugs in your car, and you don't know how it got there, but all of a sudden you're up for charges. And mm -hmm. you'll end up getting a visit, and someone will tell you, you know, we can make all of this go away. That's right. You know, That's I right. have personally been approached here in South America. I am not one to volunteer my private information, so my, my name and my exact location I will not say. Uh, it, it's easy to find whoever knows how to track phone calls. I, I really don't care. My point being is I was approached here because of my connections within the music industry. I was taken to a uh, a penthouse of a, a particular gentleman who's uh, of European descent, let's say, and um, he prefaced himself before he invited me into one of his orders. He simply said, number one, I will deny everything I'm about to tell you to my death. And I kind of was like, man, you know, this is, it's not that serious, whatever it is. I mean, you just met me through a friend of yours a couple of minutes ago, but he knew about me and my uh, music business connection. And so what he said to me, he said, I am here in South America. I'm a part of a family, and we're basically looking to take over over 60% of the utilities market. Mm -hmm. And we need help. We need people 
who have contacts to be able to influence the thought processes of individuals. Yeah. And I said, so why are you talking to me? He says, because I know you know the major players in the industry. And when these guys say things, when they put out things, when you have all of these artists saying vote for Obama, okay, and making it very cool to say vote for Obama, it doesn't matter what the reasoning is behind uh, yeah. uh, these individuals. People don't think. They just follow. They are, sad to say, pure sheep. And it is those very people um, in whatever part of the world, okay? The fact that I'm in South America is, you know, this is not America. So he's trying to get influence into a certain realm in a whole other part of the world, knowing that my contacts are within the U.S. Yeah. I do have contacts in South America as well. But it shows the global reach of the plan. Mm -hmm. Maintaining your humanity right now, going through the things we're going through, I think is going to be the greatest challenge.